What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to ask you a question. If you own a virtual reality headset, it could be the Oculus Rift, it could be the HTC Vive, it could be the Samsung Gear VR, it could be anything, and it could be the PlayStation VR. How are you enjoying virtual reality? Is it everything that you thought it would be? Have you had some really screwed up experiences? Have you had some reality altering experiences where you put on a headset and it's like the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life? Do you think that VR needs some real improvements or do you like the direction that we're going with it right now? Well, PlayStation CEO Kazurai seems to believe that VR could use a lot of improvement. And I, for one, agree with him. I have PlayStation VR and I love PlayStation VR. I really enjoy putting on the headset and getting in there and playing games like Werewolves Within, which is a stationary game where you sit around a table and talk to people. I enjoy Brookhaven Experiment, which is a 360 degree shoot 'em up where you have one gun and one flashlight and there are creatures coming at you. I think it's really awesome. I think that Until Dawn has done incredibly well. It's a very fun game and it's translated perfectly to me in virtual reality. But there's also been games that I've played that have made me extremely nauseous and made me not want to play VR at all. So I think that virtual reality has a lot of room for improvement. And I think that once developers get their minds really wrapped around what virtual reality can be versus trying to make VR versions of games that already exist, then I think VR will be going in the right direction. I believe that the perfect virtual reality game is going to be in a genre that doesn't even exist right now. I think that developers have particular games in mind that already exist and they try to bring it to virtual reality and sometimes it doesn't work so well. But when it comes to PlayStation VR and other VR, I do believe that there's lots of room for improvement and Kazurai actually believes that PlayStation VR could use lots of improvements. I'll drop a link in the description. Sony CEO Kazurai revealed during the company's presentation at CES 2017 that the PlayStation VR saw a pretty good start. However, he also noted while speaking to Daily Star UK that the platform could still use a lot of improvement. When asked about the issues like cabling and whatnot, Kazurai noted that, quote, I would say that generally speaking, there's probably a lot of improvement where it still makes sense, end quote. He did note that this is, quote, the first version, end quote, of the platform and that, quote, PlayStation is a business that is known to iterate and to evolve hardware products, end quote. And though improvements could come, they will be made keeping affordability in mind. Quote, improvements have to be balanced with cost considerations as well, because it is a consumer product for gamers. So we don't want to say that it's lighter, wider, or whatever, but it's going to cost triple? That's not going to happen, end quote. How would you improve PlayStation VR? Well, this is actually really good news because Kazurai has been helming Sony for a long time and uh, he was, he's was he been there since the turnaround for PlayStation. So it's, it's really good to hear him speaking the truth and speaking the truth to power when it comes to PlayStation VR. Uh, this is something that I've said in the past that when PlayStation VR 2 or PlayStation VR 3 comes out, it's going to be incredible, incredible hardware. But the thing that really struck me here by Kazurai's statements is that he's always considering the end cost for the consumer. Sony could easily make a high-end VR headset, but they understand that their demographic is PlayStation gamers who don't want to spend seven, eight hundred dollars for a headset. That's just not reality. They're trying to keep it budgeted for the mainstream consumer, and that makes a lot of sense. Now, me, if if you're asking me how I would improve PlayStation VR, I would improve the tracking. I would add more than one camera. I think that would really, really help the situation. If you had a camera in front of you and maybe one that could actually go on the other side of the room so it could track your movement better. Of course, I, I believe that PlayStation VR could definitely use an upgrade when it comes to resolution. A lot, a lot of games that you play on PlayStation VR don't look that great because the resolution of the PSVR headset is not nearly at the same definition as, say, the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive. It's just not the same quality of a product. So in the future, of course, I'd like to see a higher resolution. And of course, with time, I'd like to see better VR games ran through maybe the PlayStation 5 and things like that. But for, for what it's worth right now, I'm enjoying VR. I think it's a great investment for me. It may not be for everybody else, but sometimes you want to get away. Sometimes you want to put a headset on and just go into a game. And for those people who can afford it and those people who want to try it, I'd say definitely do it. If you have VR, let me know in the comment section below what are some of the biggest improvements that you would like to see coming. It could be the Samsung Gear VR. It could be ACC, Oculus. It could be PlayStation VR. What are some improvements you would like to see coming to VR in the future? Let me know what you think of the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up to show support for my channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.